Zoom, 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 ah, zoom. World. Habai for folks. Wobo kabum, tubo zubum, world. Maba nabam, abis, dubba yobal. That, of course, means my name is Duel. This is Zoom World, a great YouTube channel that is devoted to the PBS series Zoom, which I've now enjoyed watching this many times for the last half a year. Well, over a half a year now. Anyway, back ag as I'm back again with another Zoomer Spotlight vid, this time around, I'm going to be focusing on for Zoomer Guys this month. And I sure hope you've enjoyed the Zoomer Gals that I spotlight last month. Now it's time to tackle the guys. And I'm going to be with Season 1 like last time, since I did with Tracy, who went on to the first cast of Season 2. But this is for the Zoomer, one Zoomer guy who was with the whole first season and only the first season. And, well, I'm pretty sure he's the oldest of the original group, but I might be wrong. I mean, this guy and Nina were the oldest of the group. So now, without further ado, the Zoomer I'm going to spotlight today is none other than... Sorry, everyone, I made a mistake. So, here he is. <laughs> I humbly apologize for that little error when I was trying to get, so I apologize. You know that I get the vids through my tablet. Enough said. <laughs> Anyway, it's Tommy White from the first season. Now, Tommy, or well, he's Tom now, since he's all grown up and what have you. I gotta say, he's my favorite of the four Zoomer guys of the first season. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like them all. I mean, I like John and Kenny, considering he went into the first cast of season two, along with Nancy and... Tracy, and Joe, who, of course, I'll be spotlighting later in the month. But anyway, I really think this guy is really something. He's really great, and I feel like he's got pretty good talent and what have you. So, yeah. Anyway. Now, of course, this isn't going to be much, so I'm going to spotlight... Him and show off as many clips as I can featuring him. Now, a few Zoomers will be included in some of these clips featuring Tommy, so bear with me, okay? Thanks for your understanding. So, if you're ready, let's begin. Now, here's one of the first cool things he, that Tommy did. This was from the first episode, and also the pilot. He does an Ubby Dubby Wear report, which is really something. He was one of the first Zoomers to actually do... Ubby Dubby, the other being Nina. And what can I say? This is really cool. Now, again, don't mind, I accidentally included a little bit of the first bit of Say You Wake Up in the Middle of the Night, which that's a really good song that they did. And I, um, for, for you to write what you got an idea and why have you and send it to Zoom and why have you. Yeah, really something. Mm -hmm. Now here's Tommy along with Tracy and Nina, and they're, they're with the other Zoomers as they are doing The Cat Came Back, which that's a very good song. I really like it. Actually, this in the Ubby Dubby Wear report was actually used in the Zoom catalog, which, of course, Anne presented that in the Zoom catalog, cause since she was introduced in the first cast of season two. But anyway, Tommy's pretty talented and what have you. Uh, so I really like that about him. Here's another fun thing I like about Tommy. He's filming this. He's acting like he's the camera. He's getting Nina and what have you. Being a paper and everybody's scaring her really something. Yeah, that's another fun thing about Tommy is he does those 
little bits and what have you, which of course kind of resemble the little quickie intros from Roy and Martin's laughing. Yeah, I kind of like it when he's like, uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't resist. So, so tell me if you are watch, if you do watch this video, then forgive me. <laughs> I was only having, I was just having some fun here, just kind of like that, you, that, you know. <laughs> Yeah. But it's very funny, though. Now, here he is with Nina, and he's the was also with the first to say, well, do the Fanny Dooley bits and what have you, too. Really something. Yeah. Fanny Dooley was introduced in the first season. Certain Zoomers come up to Tommy and, well, mentions what they believe is the answer to what Fanny Dewey likes and dislikes. But, well, Tommy gives the actual answer and what have you. So I think that's really something as well. Now here's Tommy. He's playing this here little bit of a professor or teacher. And as they start doing the cha-cha number, if you recall, I showed off a little bit, some, bit of this in the last Zoomer Spotlight vid, which I did on Tracy. And you can see Tommy back there. <laughs> it looks pretty cool and what have you. I like that. Now here's Tommy and the guys again. They're doing a, another little bit where the cat came back. This is from version 2 of the song. Where kids sent in new words new, and what have you. New verses for the song. Which is really something I gotta say. The gang really does one heck of a job with this one. I'll tell you what. <laughs> now here's a nerve of Tommy. He's there with Joe, and there. This is from a part of performance of the song. Um, Abdul. Oh crap. Uh, Amir Jabbar. I can't remember that name. It's just too. Oh no. Abdul Abu Boom Amir. That's what it is. Oops. Sorry about that. Yeah, but this song's pretty good and why have you. Nina does an exceptionally good job in singing this little number. Really something. Okay, and here's Tommy again playing like this rabbit in the Zoomers in Wonderland segment. I gotta say, that's really something with it. This twinkle, twinkle little bat song, which of course would actually be featured on the Come On Zoom album released on A&M Records in 1974. Yeah, I haven't heard that version yet, but still this version's pretty darn funny though. And here's Tommy and the guys as they do the Rock Island line. Very good song and what have you. I kind of like this number. I think it was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was probably one of the rare instances we, we get to see just the guys alone do a song. I've only heard a few songs that the gals sang alone. But hey, this is a great song. I really liked it when Tommy and the guys put on a great performance of this little number. Now, for those of you who didn't see my recent video, I... Did the Sea of Terror. Here's Tommy playing the mad scientist Dr. Weaver. And he's actually pretty good in playing the character and what have you. And I gotta say, I liked John Key's performances as the two guys that stop him. I think um, Dr. Weaver is easily probably one of the best performances Tommy gave on the series. But he did a lot of other good stuff like I just showed off, you know. <laughs> really something. Well, that's that. And if I missed showing you one, a Tommy performance, then I apologize. This was as much as I wanted. And that Dr. Weaver bit, I wanted to save that for last. Because, well, that was one of the best performances he gave. But he did lots of other good things. Don't give me, don't hate me for it. But I liked all of the things he did for Zoom's first season. It is a shame he left and what have you when the show got picked up for a second season. But hey. He was a great guy, and he's still a good one. Mm -hmm. So, now you know 
why I think Tommy White is definitely a good Zoomer guy, and and he's very he's very talented and really cool. So anyway, what do you think? Is Tommy one of your favorite Zimmer guys from the first season? Or, well, you can just tell me what you thought of him, in, that th think about him in the comment section below. If you have a favorite moment with him, just let me know, okay? And if you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, and be a part of Zoom World. Because you never know why we'll throw at you next. And, of course, I'll have another Zoomer Spotlight video coming up next weekend where I'll be, I'll go ahead and tell you who it is. It'll, well, I won't actually tell you the name of it is, of the guy. It'll be a season two Zoomer, okay? That's all I'm going to tell you. I don't want to give a name away because that would ruin everything and I think it could bore the audience. But anyway, that'll do it. Thanks for watching and if you like this, check out some of these these last couple of Zoomer spotlights I did. The upper left hand corner is the vid I did on Lori Boskin, which has which has almost gotten a hundred views already. The upper right hand corner is the previous Zoomer spotlight on Tracy Tambring, which is not it well is a little bit behind, but it's still really heating things up in the views now. Or go to the bottom left hand corner and see the full video for Sea of Terror. Which is a great Zoom play of the week. And the bomb right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. And if you're into the great PBS Kids show Zoom, old or reboot, which I'm still going to try and watch. I don't know when, but I'm still going to. Then I'll be, and then maybe, mind you, I will talk about some reboot Zoomers down the road. So thanks for watching, and until next time, this is your friend Dual saying see ya.